Hello guys, it's Dennis LD. I'm uh, back in the house, back in Montreal. It's been over three weeks since I made a video from here. Um, now I decided to uh, let you guys know the, of the beers I brought back from Moscow. Uh, six bottles made it safely. I didn't get any more, but um, luckily all of these came home in one piece. Um, I know I've displayed most of them in a previous vlog, which I made from Russia, but um, I still decided to give you guys a snapshot and to uh, let you know which ones I chose to bring back because some of them I just drank while there. So, first three are foreign considering I was in Russia, so from the Russian point of view, the foreign. Uh, this is the La Trappe, La Trappe Triple from the Netherlands. It's the only Trappist brewery there, should be good. Um, it's my first one from them. Um, I was planning to, you know, expand into more Trappist beers, but I can't get any more here than, you know, the regular Chimay and uh, Orval. The second beer is from the Adnamsbury, which is, which is the maker of um, Broadside, which I reviewed about a year ago. This is the Innovation, which is their speciality Strong Amber Pale Ale, and it's won some beer award in 2008. Third one is from the St. Peter's brewery in England. This is the Cream Stout. I've heard it's a good brewery and I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna doubt that until I try at least one more beer because the first one I had from them was crap to say, you know, to be honest. But this should be good. My friend told me it's nice. So that's it for the foreign beers. And then these three are from Russia. First one is an old traditional kind of friend of mine while I go there or sometimes I get it in New York City because it's sold there as well. It's the Baltica Porter number six, just for my own enjoyment, I guess, since I've had it many times and I reviewed it uh, last year. The second one is also from the Baltica Brewery, even though it's marketed as sort of a fake um, wannabe English style pizza. But in fact, I had about two bottles of it while in Russia and it was really nice. It was at least, you know, tasting like an average English, you know, proper authentic English bitter, so at least it's not bad. Um, I'll review it sometime soon. It's 4.5% and it's actually a pint bottle, not a half litre bottle, which is very strange for Russia. It's the first ever Russian English style pale ale, I suppose. So that's old Bobby for you. And the last one is a very traditional, traditionally named, I guess. It's called Zhiguli, which is, I'll well, when I review it, if I do, I'll go into the history of the name and everything, but it's like a a Soviet style old-fashioned lager, but this is actually even better than that. This tastes very good and it's very hoppy considering this is a lager. No, not an A, you know, not a not an A plus beer, but certainly at least, you know, B plus, A minus kind of beer. And it's not an adjunct lager for sure. So I've had an amount of these before, especially during the summer. It's a good beer. If I don't give it, give it away to my friend, I'll review it sometime. So that's it, six beers. Almost all of these are half litre bottles, so that's a lot of beer for you. Cheers, stick to beer.